men who know the law, that the law has authority over a man only as long as he lives. For example, by, by law a married woman is bound to her husband as long as he is alive. But if her husband dies, she is released from the law of marriage. So then, if she marries another man while her husband is still alive, she's called an adulterer. But if her husband dies, she is released from that law and is not an adulteress, even though she marries another man. So my brothers, you also died to the law through the body of Christ, that you might belong to another, to him who was raised from the dead, in order that we might bear fruit to God. For when we were controlled by the sinful nature, the sinful passions aroused by the law were at work in our bodies, so that we bore fruit for death. But now by dying to what once bound us, we have been released from the law that we serve in the new way of the spirit and not the old way of the written code. Struggles with sin. What shall we say then is the law sin certainly not indeed i would not have known what sin was except through the law for i would not have known what covet what coveting co coveting really was if if the law had not said but not covet, but sin, seizing the opportunity afforded by the commandment. Products produced in me every, every kind of covetous desire. For apart from law, sin is dead. Once I was alive, apart from law, but when the commandments came and sin sprang to life and I died, I found that the very commandment that was intended to bring life actually brought death for sin seizing the opportunity afforded by the commandment deceived me and through the commandment put me to death. So then the law is holy and the commandment is only righteous and good. Did, did that which is good then become death to me? But by no means. But in order that sin might be recognised as sin, it produced death in me through what was good. So that through the commandment, sin might become utterly sinful. We know that the law is spiritual, but I am unspiritual, sold as slave to sin. I do not understand what I do, for what I want to do, I do not do, but what I hate, I do. And if I do what I do not want to do, I agree that the law is good. As it is, it's not no longer, I myself who do it, but it is sin living in me. I know that nothing good lives in me that is in my sinful nature, for I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out, for what I do is not the good I want to do to the evil I do not want to do this I keep on doing 
Now if I do what I do not want to do, it is no longer I who do it, but it is sin living in me that does it. So I find the law at work when I want to do good. Evil is right there with me, for in my inner being I delight in God's law, but I see another law at work in the members of my body, waging war against the law of my mind and making me a prisoner of the law of sin at work within my members. What a wretched man I am! Who will rescue me from the this body of death. Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So then I myself in my mind am a slave to God's law, but in the sinful nature a slave to the law of sin. Thank you. Verse 24 say, What a wretched man I am, Paul say. Can you imagine Apostle Paul? He say, I am a wretched man, terrible man. But who will rescue me from the, this body of death? He said, Thanks be to God, my Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Through Jesus Christ, he delivered me from this uh, sinful nature. If you look at the verse 14, we know that the law is uh, spiritual, but I am unspiritual. So they are your slave to sin. I do not understand what I do. For what I want to do, I do not do. But I, I, I hate, I do. Look at verse 16. Romans chapter 7, 7 verse 16 say, If I do what I do not <coughs> want to do, I agree that the law is good. And it is the no longer I myself who do it. But it is a sin living in me, you see? Sinful nature living inside of us. That is why sin working in our life. But we need the help of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ will help us. In Romans chapter 7, is a very interesting chapter. Because uh, this man, Apostle Paul, he's struggling with the sin. But we are same. But we have victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.